Some of the reasons why English gets hard countered by things like HRE and Delhi is they have HRE and Delhi have very quick power spikes, which English can't really stop. And English's power spike is way too late. But if you try to do like a paint graph, I, I always try and utilize paint to uh, or when I say always try. Paint, paint can be a pretty good, like, uh, reasoning processor. Oh, well, that's bad. I thought it was going to be a line. Okay, so this is going to be to try and show what I mean. Uh, oops. I'll use the orange to show what I mean with... Uh, that. We'll, we'll do red for English. Re English has like this little uh, this little power bump here and then stables out and then has a late game power spike like that. Delhi is very much a Delhi is very much a uh, similar one except it goes like this and then stables out. Hatery is like this. In fact, no, no, no. Hatery is more like... And then... This. So in terms of like... In fact, no, no, no. Hold on, hold on. That's too, too high, too high. Too, hi too goddamn high. English isn't high enough. Either way, so this is this is this spot here is where Delhi gets like sacred sites. All those tier one upgrades or tier two upgrades, whatever you want to call them, the tier one uh, eco upgrades, like blacksmith upgrades. So that's when they're really powerful. This this isn't quite super accurate. The reason that HRE does very good against Delhi is because even if you have, in fact, hold on, let's we'll do this. So by the time that these things all pay off, HRE can have uh, HRE can have very big income from the relics, slash more income, which is like ooh. Uh, if we go with like Delhi versus China, so uh, Delhi get a big power spike, and then they kind of really. We'll say that's H three. China have keeps. So China's quite a nice progress like this. Keeps. And then they keep on going. So De Delhi's like one advantage that they have here. Just gets like kind of slammed by China. Uh, whenever you have French. French. French just kind of start off a bit higher than the other civs. But then like stay very much the same. Which is why against like the English, where English start off like this, have their little bump, which isn't as good as French. But once they hit age four, it's significantly better than French. Carl Orr, those graphics made me resub. <laughs> so yeah, you can say for the first uh, the first few ages, French is just ahead of English. Um, so we're we're mainly going with like power spikes here. This this is this is Mongol against the HRE. So Mongol are just good. And then we'll go a little power spike in H4. HRE, you just you just start off behind. You hit H3 if you can, but you're just behind the first portion of the game. And you're probably gonna get tower rushed as well. Um Roos versus English is an interesting one. I'm not a hundred percent on who's better in that. I think that's actually one of the really nice matchups. What's good about English H4? Um, Networker Castles is maybe the best buff in the game because it just improves the attack speed of all your units. Uh, we, we, we did HRE versus English now. Uh, we'll do we'll do English. Uh, so you get like a little bump here, and then you go like this. Then it's H4. Now HRE, you might take a little bit of a beating early on. But your power spikes way earlier and way faster. So English have a slight advantage. 
But then H3 have a big advantage. And then English have a better advantage late game. Abbasid France. That's that's also an interesting one. So France start off quite high because of the knights and what have you. But they kind of stay the same. Abbasid. You might struggle a little bit to get that TC up. But then you're a little bit ahead. It's kind of a nice matchup. Abbasid Delhi. Power spike for Delhi. Kind of stays about the same. Actually, that one is very close. Is it slight? That one can be very close. Also a nice matchup. They both kind of spike around the same times. I mean, men at arms are not that good against uh, archers, to be fair. Mongol versus Delhi. Mongol versus Delhi is also an interesting one because it can very much depend on like your initial gold spawn. But also some one shots. Too difficult. Because like HRE, for example. HRE versus certain civs. And that's what I mean. That's that's why I was trying to like show the power spikes. Because against like a, a Mongol, your power spike doesn't come into play because they just suffocate you. Whereas against... Um, Whereas against English, the power spike comes into play because English can't stop you. They don't suffocate you hard enough. 